Yo, what's good, you two? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the River Cats Dynasty here on a Saturday afternoon as we take on Alabama. And they are a different looking Alabama. 5'11 quarterback, much like Jalen Hurts, but a pretty much a pocket passer in Wendell Bentley. Now, he can throw the ball deep I mean he's got 97 throw power he's gonna be an interesting guy to go up against and I think they just have a balanced running attack Martin Martindale is their running back he has three touchdowns 375 yards and this is still a pretty good Alabama squad I don't think this is the Alabama that we're used to but they also have a pretty good receiver Will Johnson at 95 speed, 94 catch, 91 route running, 99 acceleration. Just think about that. Zane Storm right now has 95 speed that matches a senior, maybe one of the fastest seniors in the SEC. Now on defense, they are still the same Alabama though. They have speed at linebacker, so that's something that we will have to look out for here in this matchup. But let's just play Alabama here as we return home for another SEC game. So let's kick off the action as Alabama starts out with the ball. They are top 10 ranked. So once again, we play another ranked SEC school. That has been the trend this season and going to be the trend going forward. Now, looking at injuries, though, J.J. Hollinson will miss at least one more week with a torn pectoral. TC3 is out at least four more weeks. So we will have to do without them as Jamari Tyson gets to start at running back. And we start out on defense. So here is Bentley here from the shotgun this time. Let's see what he does. He throws the left side, and he's got Osborne. It's broken up by Bryant Britt, who I'm predicting to be a unanimous All-American. And now that brings it to a third and 10. Bentley throws to the sideline, and he's got Johnson. And that's a gain of 15, first down for him. And it looks like Alabama moves the chains. It's a play action fake on the next play. Here is Bentley. He throws down the right sideline, and it's broken up. That is Derek Bomaye on the coverage. He was beat a little bit. That was a perfect throw, to be honest. So here is Bentley now, second and 10. Quick throws, left side. It's caught Barry Mitchell, and that's his tight end, gain of nine yards. So third and one, running the receiver in motion. Martindale gets to the outside, but can't get around the edge. It's a tackle in the backfield. Looks like Ja'Cory Reed cleaned it up that time. And now we get the punt to start out this game as here comes our offense out onto the field. Undefeated in SEC play. Quick throw across the middle, and it's Joe Bashai out of the backfield. Now, I have not unleashed Joe Bashai yet. He is a pass-catching running back who can run the ball pretty well as well, so we will get him some playing time, especially since Deion Carter is no longer on the team. We need that guy out of the backfield that can catch passes. So second and 10, here's a quick throw right back to Bashai. And there he is, two quick catches. That's one thing I like to do with these offenses is that I like to unleash guys, not right away, just wait for the perfect time. So here's Jamari Tyson who checks in and he picks up an easy gain of two. A little bit harder than we had to make it, but it's a first down. So we come out here with five wide. This time Johnson is gonna throw this one away. Everybody was covered. This Alabama defense does have elite corners, so we gotta be careful when throwing in coverage. So third and 10, Johnson throws to the sideline, and it's caught Zane Storm, 11 yards, first down for the freshman, and he's got his first catch of the game. Now we're pretty much in the field goal range, right on the edge of it. So here's a quick throw. It's gonna be Steven Ford, who is really underrated in this receiving core. He plays on the outside most of the time. He picks up a gain of nine. So here's a handout this time. Jamari Tyson runs over a defender, gets 10 yards, first down. He's already getting up in carries to start out this season as well as with J.J. Hollinson. He's gonna be looking to take advantage. Quick throw, it's Ethan Andrews, touchdown, he gets in. And there we go, the tight end, score again. Jamal Wilson checks in, throws a touchdown pass, and it's seven nothing. So here's Alabama back on an offense. Martindale gets to the outside, he throws a stiff arm, still on his feet, and gets tackled from behind by Dominique Edwards, the other freshman on defense. So now second and one this time. Under center, Bentley runs his receiver in motion again. Last time they ran the ball, and we bit on the fake, and he throws deep, it's Pierce. That's a perfect setup, perfect throw, and Pierce tripped up, but it's a touchdown, 66 yards. Remember earlier, they ran this exact same play and ran the ball, this time they threw, and it blew our coverage, and it's 7-7. 
So here is Johnson back onto, onto the field, that quarterback. He's going to find Chris Whiteside, who does make a move and picks up a first down. So now we're across the 50 now. Tyson takes it up the middle. He gets hit hard, though, but it's a gain of six. I like what I see from Jamari Tyson. He isn't the most fast guy, but he gets it done. So Johnson throws to the right side. It's going to be white side, and he does not pick up the first down. He needed four. It looked like he got four, but he's going to be just short. So fourth and one. We're going to go for it here. Read option. Johnson keeps. He's got the first down, spinning forward, about a gain of nine yards, first down. And that one should kick us into the second quarter. So Johnson now, quick throw across the middle. It's Joe Bashai who gets swung around again. And that was a third down, and he did not get the first. So we're going to allow him to go for our second one here. Fourth in inches. Here is Johnson. He has all day. He throws back to Bashai. He's, he's been busy in this one. Gain of seven, first down. Remember, that was a big weapon for us last year, especially with Phoenix Frazier, who couldn't really throw down the field. So now we get inside the 10 here for another third down. Throw across the middle. This time, it's going to be stopped well short of the goal line, about five yards. We're not going to go for this one. We're going to kick the field goal, play it safe. It's 10 to 7 here early on in the second quarter. So Bentley is back out onto the field, that quarterback. He's going to hand to Martindale. This time he gets to the right side, and that is about a gain of four. That's a good running back name, Clarence Martindale. So now second and six, running the receiver in motion. Bentley, he's going to take off up the middle. He's got room. First down, breaks a tackle, still on his feet. And he's got a gain of 18, first down. Now they're into field goal range. So they come out with four wide here. We're controlling Osiris Hovick right there across the middle. And Martindale does break a tackle and breaks free. He actually broke that tackle perfectly because it threw our user off and he picks up a first down. So now first and 10 this time. Bentley from the shotgun throws and it's almost picked off. Odin Blue had it. And that one could have been a crucial turnover. Instead, this drive continues. You know the CPU always capitalizes once you drop picks. Here's the throw across the middle. It's Barry Mitchell who's got it for a gain of five yards. So now third and five this time. Bentley, he's just going to throw it away. The pressure was right in his face, and he just gets rid of it. And it's incomplete. 10-10. So here is Gunnar Johnson. Let's see if he can put together a nice little three and a half minute drill here as he hands the ball off to Joe Bashai, who we're seeing for the first time this season. He picks up four yards on his first carry. So he's still in the game this time. Here for a third and six, Johnson. He's gonna throw to the right side and it's almost picked off. That was actually to Stephen Ford and he got hit on the throw and it ended up being short and almost picked off. That would have been really, really tragic. So we punt the ball away now after that incompletion as Martindale gets the first carry to the right side. He's got room, pushed out of bounds, and that's going to be Britton Jackson on the tackle, but a gain of 17 for Martindale. So they eventually get across the 50-yard line. Here is a handoff. Martindale to the right, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, spins, nine yards. Now it's under two minutes left. So second and one this time. They're probably going to hand it off once again. No, they don't. Bentley in the pocket. He's going to throw, and it's almost picked off by Odin Blue again. He's dropped two in this game. That one was probably the easier one. So third and one, handoff Martindale. He has the first and more. He gets to the outside, breaking a couple of tackles too. And that's a first down to about the 30-yard line, gain of eight yards. So a minute and a half left here. Alabama, five wide out there. He's going to throw across the middle. He's got Pierce, who already has a couple of catches, and he picks up a gain of 12. First down as Alabama calls the timeout. So Martindale in the backfield from the pistol formation. Handoff, but nice tackle. Jake Braun in the backfield. He's as sure tackler as you get on this team. As you line up here for another second and long carry, and it's another stop in the backfield. Derek Bomaye this time. He's the nickel corner. He gets in. He's actually not known to be a good tackler, but in game, he's a really good tackler. So third and 17, Bentley. He's going to throw, and it's almost picked off. That one was Jake Braun. Two plays here on this drive, and we get them to settle for three. So now we have a minute left here to drive this field. So here is Jamari Tyson who gets the handoff to start out the next drive, and he picks up a gain of five. And that was a second down carry. It goes for a first down. 
So under a minute left now. Johnson from the shotgun. He's going to throw across the middle. He's got Stephen Ford, only a gain of five. He may have had Chris White's out of the scene, but I didn't want to take that risk of throwing an interception. So flipping the play at the line. Johnson from the shotgun in the tights formation. He's going to throw to the right side, and there is White side who gets hit. Gets hit hard, too, but he holds on to a gain of seven. So we have one timeout left here as the clock stops. Johnson throws the left side and it's almost picked off, maybe deflected. Robert Henry maybe didn't get his head turned around, but it's a deflection nonetheless. So now third and 10, we line up with five wide out here. Johnson throws to an open man, it's Isaiah Thomas, he's got it. Gain of 13, now we're into field goal range at least. But now with one timeout, we're gonna try to go to the end zone. As now here's Johnson, he throws across the middle, he's got Trey Frazier. And he's got it for a first down. Now inside the 20, eight seconds left. We got one play to try for the end zone. So we hurried up to the line here. Here at five wide, Johnson doesn't have anybody to throw it to. He's just gonna get out of the pocket, throw out of bounds. And we're gonna have to settle for three on this drive and take our uh, points going into halftime, 13 to 13. This has been a defensive game. So many field goals too, four, two by each team. It's going to be a good second half. Alabama, number seven ranked. Second half coming next. So here we go to start the second half. We will start out with the ball. So here is Jamari Tyson behind Gunnar Johnson, who gives it to him, and he will get about a gain of seven after a nice return to start out the second half by Bryant Britt. So we eventually get it to a third and three this time. Wilson's got options. He's just going to take off. He will pick up the first and slide down. I wanted to run that ball instead of throwing it. It's easier, and it's pretty sure-handed. So here's on a second and nine. Quick throw. It's Stephen Ford. Spins forward, and he picks up the first down. Nice move by Ford. He picks up 10 yards, and he's got four receptions for 40 yards. So Wilson remains in the game this time, running white side in motion. A little option, probably, and he does keep it. Wilson gets to the outside and gets tripped up. Oh, man, he maybe could have pitched that one and Whiteside could have picked up a little more yardage. So third and four this time. Wilson facing pressure, quick throw, and it's incomplete. They sent the pressure. I didn't expect it to get in that quickly, and we settle for our third field goal of the game. So here is Bentley now. He's gonna take off, and he will pick up about a gain of five, tackled by Preston Kinney, and that's about a gain of six probably. So second and four, running the screen pass out to the right side. Martindale has room, but he can't get around. Ja'Cory Reed, the senior safety, nice tackle. And that brings it to a third and eight. Let's get a stop on this one. So here is Bentley from the shotgun. They're gonna run the verticals again. Deep throw down the left side line, and it's picked off. That is Bryant Britt. Last year, first team All-American. This year, preseason All-American. And I'm looking for that 10 interception season. Brian Britt has a chance. So here we go back out after the turnover. Here is a nice little run that time up the middle. Running over the safety is Jamari Tyson. And now we get it to an eventual third and five. Johnson throws, and it's caught. Gonzalvo's got it. Gain of 13. Look at this pass. Look how just close this was. It went right through the arms of the Alabama defender, but nonetheless, we got the first down. It's better to be lucky sometimes. So now across the 50 now, we're running some clock. Johnson throws, and it's Andrews who's got it. He had the touchdown earlier, gain of 15 for him, first down. So now this drive continues now, into field goal range. Joe Bashai checks in, handoff, and he gets hit hard in the backfield. And this linebacking crew is really, really fast. It's really, really hard to run against these guys. So second and 14 this time. Johnson moves to the right side, makes a man miss. And he will get out of bounds, gain of four. So we get it right back to where we started here for a third and nine. Johnson throws to the sidelines. Got Storm who goes up and gets it. And they call that a first down. But take a look. It looks like he wasn't even close to getting his feet down. I don't know what they saw on that one. It will be reversed in another field goal. We will settle for here on this drive. And that will make it a 19 to 13 game as Chris stops even off. That's right through. And it's a bunch of field goals here. I can't believe it. So here's Alabama back on an offense. One more stop. That's all we need. Here is Martindale. Handoff. Breaks a tackle and picks up a gain of seven. Is our defense hasn't really broke so far, but we've been bending a little bit. 
So here's Bentley, another handoff. And it's Ja'Cory Reed in the backfield tackling Martindale. Okay, third and three. Here's the stop we need. So from the pistol, handoff, Martindale gets stopped in the backfield but stays on his feet. And he does pick up the first down. Jake Braun was in the backfield that time. And look at Martindale. He just puts his hand on the ground and stays on his feet. And now they continue this drive close to the 35. So handoff, Martindale. He gets the left side and he does pick up just a gain of three. So another third and five. So under center this time, Bentley. Let's see what he does. He changes the play at the line and he will drop back to pass. Bentley throws to an open man. It's Pierce, touchdown. Beats Derek Bamaye in coverage. And also Brian York was in that zone and they just let the man get wide open. And now we're down by one with five and a half minutes left here in this game. So Wilson's in the game, running the option. This time he pitches out to Steven Ford who puts on a move and he gets tackled for about a game of nine yards. So second and one, Jamari Tyson checks in. Hand off right to him, he picks up the first. And that's about a gain of three. One thing about Jamari Tyson is that he's a bigger running back. He can't really fit through the holes like maybe Joe Bashai and even J.J. Hollinson can. So here's a quick throw to left side, and that's going to be incomplete as Gunnar Johnson checks back into the game here close to the 50. So here he is, quick throw to the right side, and it's Storm. And I thought we could have turned up field, but it's only a gain of three. It's now three and a half minutes left here, third and seven. Running the slants, quick throw, and it's going to be Zane Storm. He's got a gain of 12. It looks like he's shaken up too, but he held on to that one after taking a big hit. Hopefully he's all right. So first and 10, close to the 33. Handoff, Joe Bashai. He shows his agility cutting back a little bit. It's about a gain of five yards. So now we're into field goal range. You got to think about running this clock a little bit, so we will. Here is Tyson, handoff. He's got an open hole, first down. He's got it. Now we're just going to run this clock. We're in the field goal range. It's just a smart play here. There's now a minute and a half left. Let's just get to the middle of the field as Joe Bashai checks in. Handoff right to him. His biggest run of the day. He spins, and he actually does pick up a gain of seven. And Maybe that spin move helped us because now we can move the clock just a little bit more without picking up the first down. And here's Bashai. He picks up three, and that's where Alabama calls their first timeout. And that's what I said. We needed to maybe not pick up that first down. It was a smart play. As Tyson gets it up the middle, first down. Now we line up to kick this field goal. Alabama does not elect to call a timeout here to freeze the kicker. And Kristaps Ivanov knocks it through. Every single game this season has been close. And another victory here in the SEC. We upset number seven Alabama. And now that we're in the SEC, these games are becoming routine for us. These close matchups, and we get the win. And what a game from Kristaps Ivanov. Five field goals. 46 was his long. He gets player of the game, obviously, because he did give us that win. Nice defensive effort from our defense for most of the game. I got to admit, I love what I'm seeing from these linebackers in defensive line this season. We've had a, maybe a couple of hiccups, but not too many. And that's why I got to give it up to them. I mean, J.J. Taylor, Dominique Edwards, all those guys up front, Jonathan Thousand, and even the linebackers, too. I got to give it up to Odin Blue, Eddie McMack, Osiris Hovick, Jake Braun. I mean, everybody's balling out there on that defensive front and is looking at our receiving core. We didn't really have a huge game. Zane Storm led our team in catches, six for 46. And then Ethan Andrews had the only touchdown. But it was really good to see Joe Bashai now. We unleashed him. He had a couple of catches out of the backfield, and he definitely helped us, especially with J.J. Hollinson's absence. He's going to be playing quite a bit when Hollinson even comes back as well because he's that pass catching back out of the backfield. And I got to start thinking about, you know, using that a little more in the game plan as Bryant Britt adds another interception to his total. As Bentley looking at him, he only went 9 of 18. They hand the ball out to Martindale quite a bit. I thought they were going to pass the ball going into this game because it looked like their DNA was more driven towards the pass this year. But it looks like they tried to give it to Martindale. Didn't work out. They lost by two points. But the time of possession really won us this game, 22 to 9. So after that game, we had a couple of more commits. And we really wanted to recruit in the state of Tennessee and retain them as a pipeline. So we get our first recruit, Justin Stanley, from there. He is a center, and we definitely need the offensive line. We have three senior offensive line starters who are graduating. Garrett Blainsworth and Kamari Jamison. 
both two safeties who we really, really have high hopes for. I don't know who's going to play which position, but right now they have committed two strong safeties that probably Blainsworth will move to a free because he can play the zone pretty well. Kelly Harrison Jr. commits. He's going to be an awesome replacement for eventually J.J. Taylor, but Taylor's having himself a pretty good season. I want to see more out of him because, remember, he did lead our team in sacks last year. And then Osiah Caesar, who will add speed to that linebacker position. I am really, really excited for him. He is like the Bryant Britt of linebackers, I think, in our future. He's just going to make plays. So looking at the SEC East, Missouri is actually on top to start the season. I don't expect that to last, to be honest. They were predicted to finish second to last in the conference. But we are on top of our side right now. But next week, we go up against Metropolis, who Kirk Herbstreit pointed out before this season started that Metropolis probably has the biggest shot of really making a statement because they can run the ball and look at them. They have the number three rushing offense in the nation. So this is going to be interesting. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah.